Hello, Erin O'Brien here. This is a this is a good one. You're you're gonna like this one. <clears throat> I queried this particular publisher uh, uh, for which I'd seen an ad in the New York Times Book Review, and they were a small indie press. And I thought this is a good little publisher to query because they're advertising in the New York Times, and so I sent them a query. And this is what they sent back. Thank you for sending us your manuscript, Harvey and Eck. What a wonderfully unusual story of friendship that we expect to develop predictably into romance. Of course it does. And then I won't give away a uh, line there. In today's world of interpersonal distance, distrust, and isolation, your novel of letters is all about human connection. Starting with the safety of anonymity, your characters who don't even know each other begin to change and find their true identities through the misses of the other, written in the voices of their evolving spirits. Excellent work. This book reminds me of 84 Charing Cross Road. You and I should discuss how we could work together towards publishing Harvey and Eck. I was so overjoyed when I got that, that I dropped the letter at that moment and I swept my daughter up in my arms. She was just a tiny, a three or four year old. And I danced around the house because I thought I finally placed my novel. After four or five years of, of working to place it. And then I, after about 10 minutes of rejoicing, I picked the letter back up and read in order for us to bring high quality work by new authors to market, we must share the financial risks. And then they went on to ask me for $7,000 to publish my book. Uh, so it was just a vanity press that somehow made it through my filter. I sat down in a chair and I did not get out of the chair for one hour. I didn't move, I didn't speak. My daughter kept saying, Mom, Mom. One hour. <laughs>